Paul, there has been a lot of focus on the online environment in the media for, for a few years now. How is, uh, how is it all looking at the moment? Um, well, I mean, this year there's been a tremendous amount of change, a, a tremendous amount of, of things happening. Um, and, and it's really quite remarkable how much has changed in just 2016. Um, the Independent became the first national newspaper to close its print edition. Um, we've obviously had ongoing closures in the regional print uh, industry, but also Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Um, these are all becoming publishers in their own right. Facebook are paying for video. Um, Google are uh, investing a lot of money in funding uh, innovative news uh, in enterprises and there's some interesting experiments in the UK so there's you know there's lots and lots going on now and I think I think this year in particular just so much bots VR fake news um, mobile formats like instant articles live video all of these things have really um, had a big year this year so I could go on and on there's just been so much in just so this year it's from what you're saying it looks as if uh, this uh, environment is still very fluctuating it's going from one form to the other and from one structure to the other uh, so things are not really quite settled now is it no absolutely and, and I think um, I mean, I, I often say that, that actually we've got a number of different media transformations taking place. I don't want to use the word revolutions because it's overused, but, um, you know, it's not just the web which has transformed um, the way that we uh, communicate and, and produce media, but also mobile platforms, tablets and domestic platforms, um, and, and moving forward, the connected home, wearable technology. So all of these things are happening at the same time. Previously, we might have had TV, and uh, TV took you know decades to, to find its, its form and to affect other media, but we've actually got a lot of different platforms coming out at the same time, and, and that's one of the reasons why I changed the name of the course. Um, away from the word online, which people might assume means the web. Uh, now it doesn't on the course anyway, and, and, and um, people do look at multiple platforms on the course, but making that an explicit part of the course name was really a recognition that there are, there are lots of different platforms going on here, and, um, and all of them are being invented, and, and we are inventing that language and the ways of working um, around those platforms. So, so yes, we've got at least another I'd say at least another decade on the web and at least another two decades on mobile and tablets and three decades or more to come um, around uh, cars, the home, um, uh, wearable technology as well. All of that is, is really only just beginning.